Yes, welcome back to the final part of tonight's show where it's all about food. Glorious. <laughs> Couldn't resist this. George McGann, all the stage stuff. Gar Mullins is in charge. Let's get cracking on the sea bass. No singing, but a bit of cooking is okay. required. So what we're using is stone bass, and it's a little bit thicker than sea bass, so it's just a little bit bigger. Um, so I just want to get it cooking straight away. So I have a non-stick pan in here that I'm going to add in a little bit of oil. It's a hot pan. It is, yeah. It's not like hot, hot. So it's, it's not like if you're cooking a steak, OK? So okay. it's like medium. There needs to be a little bit of smoke, but not too much. The next thing I will say to you, which are fish, I don't know whether you've seen it there just before we come on air, but I had a piece of uh, kitchen towel, so I made sure that the skin was nice and dry mm -hmm. because I want the skin to go nice and crispy. Um, ask your fishmonger to take the pin bones out. They're the bones that run up along the spine, and he'll take them out for you, or you can take them out with a knife. Um, okay. I just ran my knife in along the back, so you see I've made three incisions. Yeah. You can see that they're going to hold it up. Yeah. Um, and that's just going to help the heat get in. And then what we're going to do is we just want to put it skin side down, into the pan. That could do with being a little bit hotter. And is stone bass as widely available as sea bass? Because I don't think I've ever heard of it before. Uh, someone actually on Instagram today sent me a message and just said, where could I get that? So I'm very lucky. I live out in Swords. There's a place in Coolock. There's a fishmonger's where you can get it. You might have to ask him for it and you'll be able to get it in the next time. But sea bass fillets would work perfectly here. Okay. So a sea bass fillet is going to take maybe three, four minutes to cook. Where this is going to take, what did you say we had six, seven minutes? <laughs> this is going to take about six minutes. Like Whatever that. the floor manager said. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm doing now, you want it sizzling like that. That's important. And then the other thing then, leave it alone. If I kept trying to move that, what we're going to do is we're going to chill the pan down and there's much more chance of it sticking. That's what um, I do. I would think I'm Gordon Ramsay, like when I'm, you know, <laughs> playing around with it on yeah. things. So just leave it alone. Leave it alone, because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get but it to go crispy. Before, same with steaks as well. Never touch them, just leave them there. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get the skin to caramelise and there's much less chance of it sticking. Now, hopefully it doesn't stick. But even if it did stick, it's not the end of the world. So, But what we're trying to do is get that heat into the fish. And as you'll see now, you'll see it there. The heat will start coming up through those fillets and it'll start to cook. But what we're going to serve with it is a little broth of peas, baby jam or um, leaves, basically some potatoes, some butter, some mint and some shallots. So what I'm going to start off with is a little bit of oil in the pan and I'm going to fry off some shallots. So shallots are those little small onions that us chefs like using because they're not as strong as an onion in flavour and they're nice and sweet. Okay, okay. so I'm going to add the shallot in and I'm just going to sauté it off in a little bit of oil and butter. And what we're trying to do here is make a sauce, basically. I just want to have a look at this now and see how it's doing. So, as you can see, it's gone nice and golden and crispy. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. And then I'm going to... Now, the other one didn't stick either, so you'll have me back next week. Right, I'll turn that <laughs> one well, over. It was all on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, literally. So Hang again, on what we're gonna, I'm going to lower it a little bit now just to get the heat. It's a little bit too aggressive, and then that's just going to cook all the way through. So okay. that's going to cook for about another four minutes, and it'll be perfectly cooked. We're going to finish it with some butter and some lemon. So back to the sauce. Oh, I don't worry you, but somebody just said three minutes in a year. <laughs> three minutes? Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Right, so I have some cooked potatoes. They're going to go in with the shallots. I've got some frozen peas, they're going in as well. Um, a little bit of mint, so I'm just going to pick that in. So peas and mint are like, go really, really well together. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of butter in here now. Now, can you hear me choose the shepherd you take turns now? You're probably time seeing him with a little baby in the house. Yeah, no, it's just me <laughs> uh, cooking. Yeah, no, so um, Rachel is, um, now she does want to learn, uh, but at the moment the stuff that she would kind of serve up, you wouldn't really want. Um, uh, to eat at the moment. <laughs> wow! Well, oh, if anybody, anybody has somewhere that George um, can stay tonight, <laughs> get she just loves cooking so much. Uh, so so they, you're it's just handy, me. Are you? Uh, I don't know if I'm What's handy, but um, I, I was only talking to Garrett about this. I'm kind of in this kind of a mince trap where it's kind of like you know, like <laughs> bolognese, like um, shepherd, the shepherd pie, pie yeah. all that kind of stuff. So I am going to try and be a little bit more adventurous, um, and especially like Frankie. She won't eat anything that isn't beige at oh, the moment. Oh, we're in that as well. So, yeah, yeah. Look at some waffles and what. Yeah. yeah. You've been what? basting the fish. Yeah. yeah, so what I was just doing there was I added a little bit of butter in, and now I'm just going to finish this with a little bit of lemon juice. And what that's going to do, it's going to smoke the place out, first of all, but it's yeah. also going to create a little bit of steam. It was a cold night, no London yeah. town. <laughs> uh, you're just gonna, and what's going to happen now, it's just going to steam it. But look at the way it's glistening. I don't know whether you can see that there. It's yeah. the top of the fish, so that's how we cook fish in a restaurant. Nice and hot pan, get the skin nice and crispy. 
and then we just turn it over, a little bit of butter, and finish it with some lemon and some oh, salt and yes. pepper. Gorgeous. And then this broth, if there was sausages and bacon in there, we were just talking about it, wouldn't be a million miles away from it. From a coddle. Oh, coddle. But, I haven't had um, a coddle in ages. So in here we got our shallots, we added in our cooked potatoes and our peas and a little bit of mint. And then I just need to taste that. Did you put in some stock then? A little bit of chicken stock. Okay. So for me this is a really light midweek meal. So okay. um, really healthy, nice and light. So you can taste the mint, you can taste the peas. That goes into the bottom of the bowl and it's literally that easy. And that wonderful green salad that we made earlier on, I think is going to go perfect with this. Fric fricassee, what you call it? Fricassee, yeah, fricassee. that was just a kind of fancy fresh wor French word for a stew. <laughs> so it's kind of like a pea, mint and potato stew. I'm glad you're not um, like snobby about using frozen peas. No, frozen peas, if you think about it, are picked right at the season and then they're frozen straight away. So if I could get fresh peas, yeah, I would use them, but I couldn't. So frozen peas are beautiful. And then we're going to serve that wonderful roasted bass. And that's cooked now. I'm going to try some cooked. of the fricassee. And, and I'll George, finish you took it. With a little squeeze right. of lemon. Oh, Very nice. It looks amazing. Um, it really does, Gareth.